what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building an Otzolotl and we're going to be using some white terracotta, but also feel free to use whatever blocks you want in your version of Minecraft. I mean, this old school version just because I like the colors. But anyways, we're going to be using some white terracotta, pink wool, white wool, black wool, and some pink terracotta. And actually, we might not use pink wool. But yeah, I think just pink wool could look really cool. But anyways, so yeah, that's what we're going to be using. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and, you know, swim by that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And now, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to begin by placing five diagonal black wool blocks. So we're going to have one, then two, three, four, and then five diagonal black wool blocks. Then we're going to continue by placing two black wools going to the right. Then we're going to drop down a row and we're going to place six black wools going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to go up and we're going to place two black wools going to the right. Now every so often after we build something, I'm going to be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. But if you don't, let's go ahead and continue. We're now going to add four diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the right, just like so. So we have one, two, three, and then our fourth block goes right there. So make sure you guys have that. Then we're going to have one diagonal going to the right. And then we're going to place five diagonals going up and to the left. So we're going to start one. Then we're going to start going to the left. Two, three, four, and five. So make sure you guys have this. I know this part is confusing, so just rewind it if you need to. But I'm going to go ahead and re-explain it once again. So from this two black wools going to the right, we're going to have four diagonals going down and to the right. Then we're going to add one diagonal. And then we're going to attach one, two, three, four, five going up and to the left. Then we're going to need to add one here in the middle, just like so. Now we're going to continue with the outline. We're going to go up by six black wools on the right side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then finally six. So make sure you guys have that. Then we're going to drop down here. We're going to skip a block and we're going to place two black wools going to the right. Then we're going to have one diagonal. Then we're going to go up by three on the right. Then we're going to have one diagonal going up and to the left. And then we're going to have two diagonals going down and to the left. So there we go. Now we're going to continue with this outline. What we're going to do is that right here on this row of sits that we added, we're going to have one diagonal going to the right. Then we're going to go up by two black wools on the right. So we have one. And then we have two. So make sure you guys have that so far. Pause it if you need to. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to have one diagonal going up and to the left. And then we're going to add three going down and to the left. So we have one, two, and then three. So make sure you guys have this so far. I know it looks confusing, but at the end of the video, it's going to look great. We really do love Otzolotls. They're just so cute. So let's just keep on building them. We're going to go down here where this row of sits that we built earlier, and we're going to have one diagonal going up and to the left. And then we're going to go up by five black wools on this left side. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to have two diagonal black wool blocks going up and to the left. Then we're going to go down by two black wools on this left side. And then right here, what we're going to do is that we're going to add another two diagonal black wools. So make sure you guys have that. I know it looks confusing, but just make sure you guys add these two diagonal black wools. And then right below this two black wools, we're going to place eight going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Now over here, we're going to add one black wool 
and then we're gonna have two diagonal black wools going down and to the left. But first, let's take a big step back. Pause it if you need to, as you can see, he's already coming, he or she, I'm not sure if they if they look differently when they're a boy or a girl, but it doesn't matter. This is what we have so far. Pause it if you need to. So now what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go up by two black wools on this left side. So we, ha whoa, we're gonna go one and two. So make sure you guys have that. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool. And then to the left of this black wool, we're gonna go down by 13. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13. So make sure you guys have this 13 black wools going straight down. Then what we're gonna do next is that over here we're gonna have two diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the right. Awesome. So now let's continue with the outline of our little Otsuladl. So we're gonna go down here where we started our five diagonals and then we're gonna have two diagonals going up and to the left and then one to the right. So make sure you guys add those three diagonal black wools just like so. Then we're gonna have three black wools in this shape. And then we're gonna have two black wools going to the left. We're gonna have one diagonal. And then we're gonna have two black wools going to the left. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna have three black wools going to the left. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna have two black wools going to the left. Then what we're gonna need to do, so we're gonna have one diagonal going down and to the left. Then we're gonna add two diagonals going up and to the left. And then we're gonna have one diagonal going up and to the right. So make sure you guys have this so far. This would be another great little stopping point if you need one. All right, so let's continue. We're gonna go over here and then we're gonna add two black wools going to the right, just like so. So we have one and two. Then over here, we're gonna have three black wools in this shape. Then we're gonna have two diagonal black wools. Then we're gonna go up by two black wools on the left and up by four black wools on the left. So we have one, two, three, and four. Now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna have four diagonal black wools going down and towards the right. So we're gonna start with one here. So we have one, then we have two, three, and then finally, kind of we get there? Four diagonal black wools going down and to the right. Then what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place three black wools going to the right. So one, two, and three. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna place six going to the right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one diagonal going down and to the right. So make sure you guys have this. We're not done. He still has like this little whiskers that they kind of have going on that we need to go ahead and do. But for now, make sure you guys have this. It's looking great. So we're gonna go to this bottom part here of a row of 13, and we're gonna place two black wools going to the left. Then we're gonna have three diagonal, you know, black wool blocks. Then we're gonna have one diagonal going to the right. Then we're gonna drop down, and we're gonna have two black wools. We're gonna have one diagonal going to the right. That's gonna be one of his whiskers. Now, right from this diagonal that we place, we're gonna we're not, ugh, can I talk? We're now gonna place two diagonals going up and to the left this time. So we have one and two. So it's three in total at the end of it. And then we're gonna go up by two black wools on the left side. One diagonal going towards the right. And we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place two black wools. 
And that's going to be the outline. We still have to go ahead and do his face. But for now, make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Now for his face, we're going to go ahead and grab our white terracotta. And I am using this version of Minecraft, but feel free to use whatever colors you think will make it look more like a not so little. But I'm going to be using the white terracotta. So we're going to place just two white terracottas here. Then we're going to grab our black, and we're going to place three black wools, just like so. Then a white terracotta, and remember, feel free to use whatever block you use. I'm using the Edspots 1 version, but like the, the original Edspots 1 version, like pre-update, just because I kind of like the colors. They're a little bit different in this version, and I just think it looks better for Pitzlart. Right, now after this one white terracotta, we're going to place a black wool on the left. Then we're going to drop down and we're going to have two black wools and a diagonal black wool. We're going to grab our white terracotta and then we're going to place three black wools just like so. So you're left with something that looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to our white wool and we're going to place a white wool here and here. And that's going to be where his eyes goes. Look at that. He's looking cute already. Now what we're going to do next is that we need to add some detailing and you can go ahead and use some pink wool or use some more of this pink terracotta. I'm going to stick with the pink terracotta because why not? It's what we've been using. And we're going to go ahead and fill in this little section right here. It's one of his whiskers. I think they're called whiskers. They might have like a, like a membrane name to them. But who knows? I'm going to be calling them whiskers. But yeah, these are really cool. And you can actually buy ocelots in real life, which is like wicked that these things are like... I think they're amphibians. I remember reading about them. So yeah, they're amphibians. All right, so we gotta do these two more whiskers. So let's go ahead and do this. If you guys have ocelots as pets, like in real life, let me know, because that would be so awesome. Like I have so many questions for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a step back. That's what it should look like after we add our little whiskers with our pink terracotta. Now we need to do a little bit more shading over here. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna start here. We're going to have three diagonals. Then we're going to go up by two. And over here, we're going to go up by four. Then we're going to add three diagonals. You really don't even have to like follow this part of the tutorial. You can just, you know, do some shading. And we're going to do another three on the bottom and one here. And then the final step is going to be to fill him or she in with some white terracotta. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Awesome. That's what our ocelotl should look like after it's all filled in. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. Feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply to each and every single one of them. And yeah. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you real soon in the next video.